Hello and welcome to the second part of my how to make a song. Um, it's going to be a dubstep song from start to finish. Now uh, for me the first part is going to be laying down drums. Alright. And I usually go ahead and pretty much lay out the entire track with drums and then I put everything else into it and then I start arranging things and uh, you know, uh, I guess you could call my process subtract or uh, uh, additive, then subtractive. In that, you know, what I would basically do is let me just grab a sample or a, pardon me, a loop here of some uh, drums. And uh, I know a lot of uh, indie producers, a lot of people that you might talk with, will say that using loops is bad you know they'll call it cheating they'll say all kinds of crap about it and basically they're just they just think that if you're not doing everything from scratch that you're either bad at it or you're cheating or something and I say they can go take they can take a long walk off a short pier as far as I'm concerned if you have it in your soul in your heart to make music do it if you don't know how to play an instrument then obviously you're going to either have to pay somebody else to play for you, find a friend that'll play for you, or make friends with somebody that can play, that can do it for you, or you're going to have to buy it somehow, okay? And as far as I'm concerned, buying loops is no different than hiring a session musician. Obviously, it's nowhere near as useful a tool, you know, as a session, a session musician because you're um, set into whatever the loop has on it already you know there's tons of things you can do with loops but they are limited in what you can do with them but like I said if you have it in you the desire to make music I don't care how you accomplish that goal you know it's how you get there that's important you know it's what's in your head that makes it yours you know by the end of the process of making a song so if you don't know how to do your own drum beats and stuff, then just get there however you can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make up a drum beat. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would go ahead and structure out the song first. Uh, and this is actually kind of a useful way. I'm going to kind of pattern it off of... Uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, Skrillex's Bangarang. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to make this about 145 beats per minute, okay? 140 is typical dubstep, but remember Skrillex is not actually dubstep. He is what would be called complex electro or complex tro. Uh, he uses a lot of dubstep influences, <clears throat> but it's not actually dubstep, okay? Alright, so... Let's just get it kept here. Doesn't matter what it is. This is just for demonstration purposes. Alrighty. Four minutes eighteen. That's a that's a decent length track right there. Okay, so I'd start off with having. Uh, the drums in here. This gives me uh, something that I can work with as far as how I would put everything in. Then we ha would have uh, some hi-hat type stuff here. We'll probably usually a good idea to start with your hi-hats. You don't have to. You know, it, again, it just totally depends on how you want to do things. Okay. Let's go ahead and actually get rid of the actual drum hits here. We just want the space to show. Alright. So, this gives us, uh, again, this is would be like a template that we can follow where we're going to put things. Okay, so this would, the kick right here would be a representation of our main beat that we're going to come up with. This is just for hi-hats. Okay, and then we can go ahead and just grab, let's see, a tonal loop here. That'll be a representation of synthesizer type stuff. 
base loops. Go ahead and drop one of those in. This is going to represent our base. And that'll be base loop one, and we're going to have probably that's actually a loop instead of a one shot. There we go. Let's go ahead and work off of assuming that we're going to use about three different base loops here. Depends on how you want to do it. Alright, so we've got beat, synthesizer, riff, three different bass lines. Alright, so uh, actually I think we need to add in one more uh, beat. Let's go ahead and do a snap for this. Oops. This would be uh, the snaps and the loops is our... Alright, there we go. Okay, so this gives us uh, uh, a variety of things that gives us a template that we can kind of use as a visualization, fill in the blanks type thing for later. And uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because it helps you understand how to structure a song, how to arrange it. Alright, so in dubstep, oh, I almost forgot we need something. We, let's uh, talk about some vocals here. All right. There, some vocal stuff. All right. Now, okay. So, we probably want to start off with just some hi hats in the synth line, a hook, a synth hook, and then have that go into six seconds in, and then about thirteen seconds in. All right, and that gives us uh, an intro. 13 seconds isn't very long for a good build-up for an intro. Let's go ahead and drop an FX loop in here for effects, because obviously there's going to be effects, but effects run through the whole track, so that doesn't help, really, for templating the whole thing out. All right. Okay, so probably want to go ahead and keep the let's see that's probably don't want to wait quite that long 46 about 39 seconds in that'd probably be all right okay so then okay we can go from having the hi hats to having hi hats and a, a, a lighter beat something a little bit uh, snappy but not quite bad and then we keep up that box track okay alright and then this is where you're gonna hit your drop is we're gonna do the drop about 39 seconds in well about 40 seconds in alright and then we're going to have this is going to be the aggressive bass line okay this one's going to be okay I can actually rename these main beat light beat hi-hats synth line the main aggressive bass big dubs bass okay and stab bass okay and the stab bass I'm going to put here at the beginning with the box okay and that's basically uh, I'll show you how to make a good stabbing uh, you know on a an old school style dub bass line the big dubs bass will be you know something real deep kind of but still kind of aggressive alright and that's gonna go later so let's see 39 seconds almost a solid minute of the main beat and the main bass line okay that'll give us something to roll with okay and then it's going to break down for uh... i'd say a little bit longer than that would be good yeah then we're going to go back into the the lighter beat not quite that long though
So this gave, gives us a basic outline that we can work off of. All right, we have the main beat, and then there's some break segments in there. In this case, this one uh, pops in with the uh, return to the intro, and then, which is what this would be as well. So we've got the intro, then we've got our first big uh, blast off with the bass, then we return to the intro, lighten things down a little bit, you know, break it down and build it back up. So we have another drop into the main bass line here. And then we have, uh, you know, just a few seconds, like seven seconds, just a little bit of the big dub bass along with the vox and the hi-hats, you know another small break before we go right back into the uh, main bass line and the main beat and then we're going to have another s brief return to the intro stuff then we're going to go with the big bass line for a few bars and then back into the main bass line where it gets more exciting again till it finishes Okay, and that gives us a song arrangement to work off of. And obviously it will not stay that way throughout the entire track. It is just a template to use to get us started. So that is the uh, first part of doing a song. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing to you that this is a way that you can do it to get things straight in your head before you just start tossing stuff in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and then I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful.